Hi, welcome to my workshop. My name is Darren and I wanted to show you something I received in the post earlier this week. It got here very quickly after I ordered it. I've got myself a Bridge City Toolworks mini block plane. Uh, it looks pretty impressive. In all honesty, I haven't used it yet. We're going to check that out together. All right, let's have a look at it. Okay, so let's open up the box and have a look inside. So we've got a set of instructions. Now I would normally not bother you with those, but I wanted to point something out which I thought was amazing. It mentions here in the plane iron that a great deal of effort has gone into polishing the back and under no circumstances should you lap it or sharpen the back of the plane iron. Uh, just leave it be and hone the micro bevel it says. Okay, so looking further into the box, we've got a little Allen key. And as you can see, it's a very small little hand plane. There we are. What this new plane will primarily be doing will be uh, competing with my old Stanley low angle block plane, which was probably my most used plane. It's just handy and easy to pick up. Now, one of the things that sets this plane apart from any other plane I've seen before are these two depth skids either side. And you can, you can remove them completely if you want to, but by just loosening these off, you can adjust the height of them, which lifts the base up off the surface, uh, just leaving the skids running on the surface, and turns this little tiny plane into a tiny thicknesser. Let's have a look and see how that works. And at the moment this piece of timber is 11.26 millimeters thick, at least in that spot. I'm going to plane that down to 10 millimeters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust the height of the skids using my 10 millimeter spacer. And we're just going to take the spacer and stick it there on the bench because the bench is going to be our reference face or reference surface. Loosen those off. There we go. So this would be very handy for making pieces of trim and stuff like that. Anytime you want to thickness something that's too small to be passing through your thicknesser. So there we go, we've got our depth skids set now. You can see that. We also have an adjustable mouth. This knob here allows us to loosen off this mouth adjustment and open and close it. So we're going to just close that down a little bit. Just a little bit. Here we go. Let's see what we get. All right, that's straight out of the packet, and that's planing, and it's doing a nice job of it. Look at those beautiful shavings. Look at this. They really did put a lot of effort into the iron in that. Let's have a look what we've got so far. Look at that. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. We've had a look at how this works as a thickness plane. I'm very pleased with it. It's very accurate and quite quick and easy to use. Let's have a look at what it's like to use as a low angle block plane. We're just doing little things like rounding over edges and such. I'm just going to initially just try a fairly consistent chamfer and see how that goes. It's doing a very nice job as you can see with the little thin shavings coming off. I am only taking very fine shavings. All right, let's turn that into a round over. I'm just going to flip that over or around. Now 
as you can see that has done a beautiful job of rounding that over nice and smooth very clean this side here has got quite a few saw marks in it so I'm just going to see what it's like to try and take those out obviously at one point here I'll be going against the grain that can't really be helped all right let's take those marks out I'm just going to close up the mouth a little bit because we will have to go against the grain and we don't need to be taking much off so let's reduce the possibility of tear out make life easy oh wow I can't say enough nice things about this plane that's a couple of strokes either side got rid of all the saw marks off of that that's beautiful um, I'm just very impressed okay that was a very quick look at the HP8 mini block plane made by Bridge City Toolworks are they they are Bridge City Toolworks a uh, company I've not really had anything from before but very impressed with the workmanship on this but I'm going to start with the cons because there's only a couple and uh, they're quickly tossed aside so con number one it's very very light and doesn't have the momentum of a larger block plane so when you're pushing it through the wood you do have to do a tiny bit more pushing it's very sharp so that's not so bad uh, and the second con is when you're using it as a thicknesser it would be nice if it was larger so you could use it two-handed uh, that said then I would probably be more likely to just stick it through the thickness if I needed something that size so not really a con again so on to the pros it's made of aluminium which means well the body's made of aluminium the blade of course is steel as are these screws but being an aluminium body that can't rust and it's also very light which helps it be more maneuverable it's a very versatile little plane because it is nice and easily moved you can get into small spaces with it around things nice and easily uh, and having these depth skids of course allowing you to use it as a thicknesser just makes it even more versatile very easy to use it's very well made all the parts fit together properly there's no extra play or movement in it and it was sharp straight out of the box and it was only $79 plus shipping that is so cheap something like this probably cost me the same uh, had to sharpen it out of the box uh, it's a beaut now it's had years of tuning and it's a wonderful tool but uh, <laughs> this is only just come out of the box and it's working beautifully should point out they haven't paid me any money I paid them for this um, but I'm glad I did I get lots of use out of that and uh, it's a pleasure to use so hopefully this video has been of some help have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one Bye for now.